Recently, I've been hard at work on a custom PowerShell script that I'm going to use to automate various tasks in my own environment. Now, because of the nature of the script and some of the things that it does, it's really important for me to design the script so that it produces a log file. That way, I have a way of going back and seeing exactly what the script did and when. Now, as you can imagine, it's going to be really important for this log file to contain a date and timestamp for each log entry. And that's what I wanted to show you how to do because PowerShell makes it really easy to output the date and time. It's done by using the get-date commandlet. And when I press enter, you can see that today is Thursday, November 30th, 2023, and the time is 4.42 and 19 seconds p.m. So PowerShell makes it that easy to output the date and time. But the interesting thing about the get-date commandlet is that you can format the date and time any way that you want. You can display just the date, you can display just the time, you can put it in the format that makes the most sense for your own individual application. So I wanted to show you a few of the different options that are available to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the get-date commandlet, and this time I'm going to append the format parameter. So I'll type dash format, and then there are any number of different formatting characters that PowerShell provides that you can use to format the date and time as you see fit. And it's worth noting that these formatting characters are case sensitive. So sometimes you'll get a completely different result or maybe even an error if you end up using the wrong case. And I'm not going to go through all of the formatting characters, but I do want to show you some of the more useful ones. Starting with something simple, I'll type mm-dd. And you'll notice that the m's are uppercase and the d's are lowercase. I'll press enter. And you can see the date expressed as 11-30. So what if we wanted to attach a year to this? Well, that's easy enough to do. I'll repeat the command, and then I'll type dash yyyy, and I'll press enter, and now we see the date as 11-30-2023. So what if we wanted to put some spaces between this instead of dashes? Well, we could do that as well, but anytime that you include a space in the formatting string, you have to enclose the entire string in quotation marks. So I'll repeat the command, and I'll put a quotation mark in front of the month, and then I'll replace the dash with a space, and I'll replace the other dash with a space, and then I'll put a closing quotation mark and press enter, and now you can see the date expressed as 11-30-2023 without the dashes. So what else can we do? Well, another thing that you can do is you can get PowerShell to show you the day of the week. So I'm going to type get dash date and then format, and then to display the day of the week, I simply type DDD, and I'll press enter, and that gives me the day of the week. Now you'll notice that this is abbreviated, so I see THU as opposed to Thursday. I'll show you how to display the full word a little bit later on. Another thing that you can do with the get-date commandlet is to display the time. So if I wanted to see the current time, all I would have to do is type get-date and then dash format, and then HH colon mm and the h's are capital the m's are lowercase and when i press enter i see the time and the time is in military format so 1645 if we wanted to append seconds to the time that's easy enough to do we simply repeat the command and then type colon ss and i'll press enter and now i get the time with seconds so 1645 and 50 seconds and we could even go so far as to append milliseconds and if I wanted to do that, I would repeat the command, and then at the very end, I would type period, and then FFF. And I'll press enter, and now you can see milliseconds have been added to the timestamp. But what if we wanted to bring all of this together and display both the date and the time? Well, it's really easy to do that. All we have to do is repeat what we did. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a longer string, and I'm going to go ahead and enclose this in quotation marks. And I'm going to type DDD and then space MM dash DD dash YYY and one more Y and then space capital HH colon MM and then close quotation marks. So the lowercase DDD, that's the day of the week. And then we have month, day, year, and then hours and minutes. And I'll press enter. And we see Thursday, 11-30-2023 at 1647. 
So that's just a quick sample of some of the things that you can do with the format parameter. Now, the really interesting thing about the get date commandlet is that the format parameter isn't the only parameter that you can use to format the output. There is another parameter called uformat. So I'll go ahead and type that now. It's get dash date space dash uformat. And I have no idea why Microsoft created two separate formatting parameters, but they did. Now, the thing that makes uformat different from format is that the formatting string is entered in a completely different way. With format, you saw that we used standalone characters, things like HH, MM, DD, DDD, things like that. When we use uformat, all of the formatting parameters have to have a percentage sign in front of them. So let me show you an example. I'll type get dash date dash uformat and then space and percentage, and we'll do percentage A. I'll press enter, and when I do that, you can see the day of the week, in this case, Thursday. Now, you'll recall that earlier, we saw an abbreviation for Thursday. It was THU as opposed to the entire word being spelled out. Here we have the entire word. So what else can we do? Well, another thing that we can do is to display the month. So I'll type get dash date dash U format. And this time I'll type percentage M. And I'm going to use a lowercase m. I'll press enter. And we can see that the month is 11. Now, as I mentioned, the get dash date commandlet is case sensitive. And if you start swapping uppercase letters for lowercase letters and vice versa, you can end up with some really strange things. For example, if I were to replace the percentage lowercase m with percentage uppercase m, I get 49. And I have no idea what that 49 corresponds to. So let's take a look at some other things that we can do. Another thing that we can do is to use a lowercase d. So I'll replace the m with a lowercase d and press enter and we get the day of the month, in this case 30. Today is November 30th, hence the number 30. But what if we substituted the lowercase d for an uppercase d? Well, in this case, we get the entire date string, but without any formatting applied. So 11, 30, 23. So we get the date displayed in six digits, 1, 1 for 11, or November, and then 3, 0 for 30, or the 30th, and then 23 for the year. And there are some other things that we can do. Uh, for example, we could do percentage capital R, and I'll press enter, and when I do that, we see the time in military time, 1650. If I change this to a lowercase r, I see the time expressed as 450 p.m. and 12 seconds. Now, one of the things that we did with the format parameter was that we enclosed the formatting string in quotation marks, and then we were able to format the output any way that we want, and we can do the same thing with uformat. So what I'm going to do is repeat the same command, get dash date dash u format. But now what I'm going to do is type a quotation mark and let's use a few different formatting elements. I'll type percentage A space and then percentage D space and then percentage R. And then I'll type a closing quotation mark and press enter. And we can see Thursday, 113023 at 451.05 p.m. And this is just one example of how you can format the output. There are any number of different formatting characters that you can use to format the output exactly as you want it to be. So that's just a small taste of how you can use PowerShell's get date commandlet to display the date and or time. I'm Brian Posey. Thanks for watching.